Hello everybody, I'm Mass Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics and today I want to show you a Ethan Powerware 30 kV ampere or KVA unit. Um, I've been so lucky to find three of these units at a local scrapyard. So let's take a look at the goods. The unit itself is about 1.7 meters high. It consists of a upper part with all the power electronics in and a battery compartment down at the bottom. The input terminals, output terminals and fuses. It has three battery trays. And up here at the front we have a 160 amp automatic breaker for the uh, battery banks. There is a mains fuse switch. And there are four fans for air cooling, the power electronics and chokes. As we can see here, it's a Eton 30 kVA or 27 kilowatt unit. This particular unit can uh, uphold seven minutes of power for its maximum uh, power output of uh, 27 kilowatts. With the front cover removed, we can uh, down here at the bottom see the input rectifier module. And above we have three identical output modules. From the input terminals at the bottom we can follow the wires running up the unit. First we can see the four connectors for the battery banks. The red wires are from the batteries. They run up through the large 160 amp automatic breaker. They loop through a couple of times for uh, distributing the load uh, even across the breaker so it can shut down properly. Uh, the input for the battery is these four terminals. The uh, mains input power is this line, runs up through the mains breaker at the front, goes over here, connects to the input terminals, has a lot of filtering, very heavy filtering, large chokes, has about three to five relays in parallel to handle the current. This uh, UPS can also be used in a bypass mode where it bypasses the battery bank and mains power just runs through it to the output. Up here we have all the uh, inverter L1, L2, L3 phases. By these relays also again with heavy snubbering for filtering, large jokes. This can all be bypassed, run to the output, down to the output terminals. <coughs> we have output current sensing from three Hall effect sensors. Or maybe these are just regular current transformers. Well, that differs from unit to unit. But other than that, this mainly is just a filtering and distribution board with all wires running into the unit to the behind uh, modules. And up at the top, we have the central processing unit. There is a sticker uh, above the uh, CPU. But as you can see, it seems to have four analog to digital uh, converters, has a lot of input pins. It's doing a lot of measurements, all kinds of uh, analog analysis of how well all the voltages and currents are behaving in this UPS. A little peculiar thing that I have not seen in a inverter before is a 200 degree rated degrees Celsius rated wire going to the inverters itself. Seems like a regular, regular 90 degrees Celsius wire isn't enough anymore. That's kind of worrying when you think about the amount of heat produced. With the main distribution circuit board now removed we can see the copper rails that distribute the battery bank voltages to the three inverters. At the bottom we can see the input rectifier module is not connected up here. 
while this pro uh, produces the DC voltage to the bank itself to charge it or to the inverters. The uh, battery connects from these three terminals up to the three inverters and the output wires from the inverters, the AC voltage. Now uh, let's uh, get this taken apart and get some modules out. These inverter modules are rather simple in their construction. Over here we have the uh, battery DC input voltage. Here we have the connector for the main uh, central, uh, the central processing unit. Here the drive signal comes in. We have a little bit of maybe it's signal conditioning, maybe it's an isolated power supply. I think it's an minus plus isolated power supply. And over here we have gate drive circuitry for the free Skeep IKBT modules that we can see the back mounting plates for here and it's all connected to a large choke assembly uh, for the uh, for output filtering The uh, rectifier board that we saw at the bottom module uh, is what we see here. At the front we have uh, some connectors, we have uh, some uh, serial connection, ethernet, a lot of discrete components. This maybe has to do uh, mostly with the uh, interface to the uh, CPU board at the top. And little of it has to actually do with the control of the PFC front end here, as the controlled rectifiers are. We have the uh, three input phases here. We have, uh, again, relays in parallel to handle the current load. And here we have three uh, controlled rectifier modules. At the bottom we have the gate drive circuitry. These are Simicron, Sim, Simicron SKKT 122-16. If I'm not remembering totally wrong, this is 1600 volts at 122 amperes or something in that range. On the back side of the board we can see the uh, wires connecting from the gate drive and we have the three outputs for the rectified DC voltage. Inside the UPS I found a manual for the unit and there's a few things in the manual that we could take a look at. First would be the warning not to... Uh, we are not permitted to open any screws excluding connectivity plates for the maintenance bypass switch. Failure to recognize the electrical hazards could prove fatal. Well, lucky for us, the batteries were out and it was disconnected. Oh, maybe I jumped a little too far there. Wanted to see the specifications. Okay, they come uh, further on. Here we have a uh, simplified schematic of the uh, electrical wiring. We have the main input for the double conversion uh, switches where we first convert from AC to DC. We have the battery banks and from DC to AC and to the load. Here we have the uh, controlled rectifiers and over here we have the bypass, maintenance bypass switch uh, possibility. Um, some of the ports at the front, as we saw, uh, one was a RS-232 port, which is uh, meant for communication with a PC. 
and it is basic monitoring, data logging, notification, and so on with the included software. The uh, four green connectors were for programmable inputs and uh, two outputs for emergency power off. A little thing I noticed uh, was uh, this description for the maintenance bypass switch operation. If we read the note here, the maintenance bypass switch consists of three switches and failure to understand the correct sequence may drop the critical load. Now this is pretty important if you have a server park um, supplied from this UPS. And they made a whooping one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten step procedure in order to switch to maintenance operation. And you have to do this without stepping wrong, or you will drop your server load. This, this just seems stupid that this is automated in some way. This is just prone to human failure. Uh, if we go on, look. We'll find specifications. Of course, I did not leave a mark for that. So here it is. This was a 30 kilo KVA unit. And as we can see, it weighs 200 kilograms, which explains that I had a little trouble getting it upright. Mm, let's see, efficiency 93%, 2 kilowatts of heat losses, roundabout. And as here we can see the 7 minute uh, uptime, if it has 72 batteries. And we have a little bit about the AC input, DC circuit and the AC output. And warranty was probably void when I took it completely apart. So that was the Eton Powerware UPS 30 kVA unit.